Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So today we're going to talk about how to get your AdSense account approved as soon as possible. So in general, AdSense takes at least 14 days to get your account approved, but sometimes it can be faster if your website has been approved before uh, or you're just trying to add a new website. I have a lot of clients who had a really uh, difficult times getting their sites approved in Google AdSense. Uh, so here are my tips that will definitely give you a 99% accuracy of getting your AdSense account approved. So number one is you have to choose a really, really good uh, WordPress theme. And there are a lot of themes on the market. One of my favorite is actually called Astra. Uh, they, are, uh, they are provided, uh, if you go to WPASTRA.com, I will give a link on the description. They have a really good theme. And one of the main feature of the theme is actually the speed. Uh, Astro, I have used to this theme. It's, it's pretty lightweight and it's pretty fast, but you're not gonna get a lot of features, uh, which is enabled in other themes like uh, integration with uh, WP Bakery or Elementor, uh, but you can definitely use those plugin with this uh, theme. I am not affiliated with Astro. I'm just telling you this theme is pretty good. All right, so the number two I'm going to mention is make sure that your website loads faster. This actually I had recently, a client approached me saying that uh, they need to get the accents approved fast. So I was like, okay, let me help you out. So I did everything, you know, uh, my team did everything with their website. And when we submitted it, it didn't, you know, uh, got approved. And when I read the, the reason, they're saying that they can't access our website. And I was like, oh my God. So I actually went to the website and I saw that there was a downtime uh, around four to five hours of the website. So make sure that your website loads faster and most importantly, get a really, really good hosting services. There are a couple of hosting services that I can recommend. Uh, one is called Namecheap. It's, I've been using this for the last five years, really good company. We have a VPS with them, it's pretty good. Another one is HostGator. Uh, they're a little bit expensive, but you'll get what you're asking for. If possible, try to get uh, Google, uh, Amazon AWS or Google Cloud Platform. They give you one year for free if you're more into technical side. But other than that, you're just starting out in your WordPress journey then definitely go for uh, Namecheap. I hope you guys like the music that's going on in the background. Uh, so number three is create a menu bar and post categories. So when you're creating the header panel of a theme, make sure to put the categories of your post in the menu bar, the first header. And uh, on the footer, make sure that you're giving uh, the legal pages that required in AdSense, for example, about us, privacy policy, terms and conditions, and other type of uh, legal posts. And create these uh, pages for your future references. Make sure before submitting your site for AdSense, you have these pages about us, privacy policy, terms and conditions, and contact us. On the about us section, make sure that you full what's your goal, how many people are working on this website, what this website is all about and everything related to your company on the About Us section. Recently, AdSense is actually looking through the core of the company and website, so make sure that everything is proper. On the Contact Us page, uh, use an embedded uh, Contact Us form and also give your uh, Gmail address on the Contact Us form and if possible, give your office PO number or office location. If you don't have office and uh, you use a home like, you know, me as an office overseas, uh, use your home address, but don't exactly give your home address, you know, just give the country or locality that you're living. Oh, and the number five one is kind of like the optional, but it's it doesn't harm you to add is the GDPR. Uh, GDP attribution is something like you're asking your users or the uh, website visitors if they want to ad uh, adapt the cookie policy that you have. Uh, just add that. I think it's pretty solid. Google may look into it, but uh, it actually worked for us. And number six, 
which is actually the most important one in this whole video, I saved the best for the last, is to create at least 20 high quality 600 word articles which are SEO optimized. So do not copy paste from anybody, do not redact things from anybody, uh, make sure that your title is uh, unique, you're working on a specific niche. So to get your actions approved in a very easy way is I recommend uh, creating 20 articles uh, on recipes. Uh, that's a really good way to start. And if you have, uh, and also you can actually write 20 articles on health that actually works like diet planning and stuff. Uh, do not write uh, based on, uh, you know, fa uh, based on like your, okay, uh, diet articles and stuff. And uh, you can write other legal stuff, education uh, purposes are really good that help us too but the most one is actually the recipe articles and if your website is a news website just put like 300 words to 400 words news article at least like 30 or 40 from the very beginning so that you don't have to like delete those 20 articles that you have wrote just do so the rule of the thumb is to create really good high quality content on the from the very beginning and that's it that's actually the like the secret of getting your actions approved as soon as possible. And number seven is a little bit of optional, uh, but I recommend it is to submit your uh, sitemap on Google Search Console. Uh, it helps Google to understand your site more better and see if it's already been enlisted in the Google Search Console. And that's it. I hope you guys uh, find these tips pretty good and I will bring new video every day. And by the way, uh, if you guys are new, uh, do subscribe on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. We have developed a WordPress plugin called Actions Protector. You can check this out. Uh, and hopefully that's it. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with a new video coming on Actions only. And if you guys have any question, uh, write down on the comment button and I'll see you. Bye.